Hey guys, Ray from Lovey RV. Today I'm going to be reviewing a lithium battery from a company called AO Lithium. Uh, it's a 100 amp hour 12 volt battery, 1280 watt hours. Uh, weighs in around 23.6 pounds. It's about 12 inches by something a little over 6 inches by maybe about 7 or so inches tall. I'll give you the exact specs later. Um, this company offered to send this out for review, I think after they saw my review on the SOK battery from about a year or so ago. Um, I had reviewed that battery and did a giveaway for it. I'm also planning to give this away after I'm finished reviewing it as I, I can't really use it in my RV, so it's not something I need. Um, stay tuned for details on that at the end of the video. Um, what intrigued me about this battery, I get a lot of offers to review lithium batteries now, most I decline, but this one kind of was kind of special because I haven't reviewed one that had a Bluetooth app. So this one has Bluetooth connectivity inside it and broadcasts and you download an app from either iOS or the Play Store. And then it gives you details of what exactly is going in, on inside the battery as far as its percentage full, the voltage of the cells, that sort of thing, temperature. So that's really interesting. Um, if someone used this battery um, in their RV, they wouldn't really need a battery management uh, uh, system like a um, battery monitor to, to keep tabs on things. You would actually know exactly what's going on with your battery. So that's kind of cool. We're going to play around with that and show you the app. Uh, also, it uh, comes apart on the top. There's four screws and you can take it apart. And has a replaceable BMS, battery management system, inside. And you can replace the cells. Also, the cells were um, grade A cells. They're collab automotive grade, grade A cells, and they're also UL1642 certified. So they appear to be quite high quality cells, all in a package that kind of priced at $699. And I even see on Black Friday deal, they're having $629. So pretty economical compared to a lot of the, the you know, batteries that come all pre-made like this. Like I know the DIY guys can buy cells in their own BMS and put it all together, but to get a nice package like that, that's not, not too bad of a price, kind of comparable to the, the SOK battery that I reviewed before. Also, it's kind of interesting, the uh, lugs on the top are kind of right down in there. So if you have any height issues, it's kind of nice to have them down in there. They're eight, uh, 8M screws that go into there. I think it's 5 sixteenths. Put that back in. And this is also an ABS case. I don't believe it's waterproof or anything, but it's ABS and it's uh, flame proof. So the first thing I'm eager to do is get a look inside this thing. I saw a picture, exploded view kind of picture of it online. It looked pretty cool inside. So I want to see what the build quality is like. Let's take the lid off. Okay, here we go. Just have the lid popped open and supported with just a piece of plastic here. Have a look. Everything looks really nice. This is what intrigued me is they used uh, these copper uh, metal bands instead of wires. It's a flat piece of copper. See the copper there. Looks like we got nickel nickel plating, nice big uh, studs there connecting them. This would be coming up positive, and then negative goes through the battery management system board here, out to the negative. Also notice they have a, a temperature sensor there. I think this little board down here, Right down there is the Bluetooth. So let me try connecting the Bluetooth, see if anything happens. Yeah, you can see the little blue light lit up. So that must be the little board that broadcasts the Bluetooth. By the looks of it, the batteries are sitting uh, stacked on each side, kind of sitting sideways. Looks like it's a little difficult to get it apart to kind of look at them. They say they're laser welded for a better connection. That's what the better manufacturers tend to do is laser weld their their connectors together. But anyway, everything looks pretty pretty nice in there. I'm not going to peel it all apart because like I say I plan on giving this one away so I don't want to damage it in any way trying to 
take it apart to have a look at everything underneath there. But it does look quite serviceable. Everything looks like it's just screwed together. I don't see any glue or anything like that. Anyway, we'll pop her back together and do some charge and discharge tests on it. And also I'll show you the Bluetooth app, which is what I think is one of the coolest features of this battery. First, I'm gonna do a discharge test. So I actually charged, the battery came at 30% uh, charge and I just used my converter charger um, and set it to 14.4 volts and charged the battery up to 100%. Now I'm going to utilize my inverter up there and run a load. I'm going to use a small space heater as a load so I can get a consistent amount of amperage. Um, and we'll see how many amp hours it can put out before, it, before it's completely dead. I'm also using my battery monitor system in the rig so we can compare with what the app is reporting as well. Anyway, let's get to it. So we'll turn on the heater and we'll see here how many amps are coming out. Okay, so it's showing it's drawing 85 amps, 1080 watts. You can see the amp hour starting to go down. This is actually my uh, battery monitor. It's showing 80, 85.9 amps, 1060 watts. So they're pretty close. Um, let's go show you how this app works. This is really the feature I wanted to check out on this battery and why I wanted to uh, test it out. So you download an app called AO Lithium and it searches, does a device search. You can see it's already found this battery that, that I have connected. Press that button. And bang, it shows you state of charge. Also shows you the voltage level, the current currently almost 86 amps, the internal temperature and the power coming out of it. And then there's the average voltage of the cells there. Um, nominal capacity, it's the rated capacity of the battery. And you can see as it's going down and using power right now. And even down here it has estimated time, one hour, two minutes. You can also check out different parameters cell overcharge, voltage protection, voltage release, all kinds of different details, the internal voltages of the battery, and then also a history of voltage and capacity and temperature. So that's pretty cool. So a person could hook this up in a system, say especially if they just have the one battery and they would know instantly kind of like a fuel gauge for your battery exactly how much life you have and uh, charge and discharge voltage all with a glance at your smartphone let's do a test with some real meters here there's a fluke voltage meter we're getting 12.52 volts on the terminals and this clamp on amp meter is showing 86 amps and that's pretty close to what I'm showing on the, the app here. At 12.58 volts, 85.92 amps, 86 amps. So they're matching up pretty well. We'll continue the test. Okay, we're about halfway through and you can see my trimetric uh, battery monitor shunt is reporting 49.6 amp hours there and 51% 51 amp hours here so this is reporting pretty well exactly the same as my shunt so everything's pretty accurate as far as this app goes uh, what you're hearing in the background is my inverter I have a thousand watt inverter and it's just sort of running flat out so both fans are cranked right up anyway we'll continue on so we've hit about 25% less. We've used uh, 76.3 amp hours. Temperatures right at uh, 30.2 degrees. The voltage is dropping down. Battery voltage is now about 12.2. So I'm going to lower the, the draw on my heater there because I'm afraid that my uh, inverter might go 
into a shutdown mode because at the inverter I only have about 11.7 volts. I think if it hits 11.5 it might shut down. So I'm just going to turn the wattage down. There we go, 700 watts now. 58 amps. Now the voltage has popped back up. Okay, interesting development. As soon as the voltage of the battery dropped below 12 volts, this thing kicked to 0.0, .0 amp hours as residue capacity, though it actually still is drawing. Interesting. You can see over here it's showing 87 amp hours drawing out of the battery so far. The voltage is dropping down quite quickly now. Pretty soon my inverter is actually going to quit. Yeah, I think I'll turn it off. There you can see the voltage pop back up. It's now the... So, at this load I was only able to get 87.5 amp hours out of it. So let me put uh, a smaller load on it and we'll keep going and see if we can, how many amp hours we can actually get out of the battery. Okay back with another load you can see the voltage is up. You can see this thing's still putting out energy but the app is all messed up. It's saying zero residue capacity. even though it's still able to draw 300 watts or so. I have a heat gun on it right now. You can see the voltage has popped back up to 12.6. Okay, well we've hit 95 amp hours, so 95% drain on the battery. Um, at this 100 watt level, voltage is still up there. So I, I totally believe I could squeeze another 5 amp hours out, out of that, but I won't do it. I don't want to run it right flat. That's good enough for my tests. So let's switch over and see how it charges. They say you can uh, charge it at a max continuous of 100 amps. So I'm going to hook up a couple chargers and, and see what we get. So let's check the max charging current. They state you can charge at 100 amps continuous. So I've just hooked up a couple uh, charge converters here in parallel. Right now we're getting 65 amps. I'm just going to boost the Intel power, boost the voltage, and we should get more. There we go. So it's right now it's putting in 110 amps. Okay, so let's go through some of my uh, likes and dislikes. Uh, overall, I find the battery performs very well, comparable to my Lion Energy Safari UT. 1300s and the SOK battery that I reviewed. Um, I like the fact that uh, it has these little indented uh, connections. That's kind of a, an interesting feature. And I like that the case can be taken apart and the battery is actually serviceable. Um, say something goes wrong, you may be able to order a, a part for them and have it changed or have someone with electronic background change it for you. Uh, weight is okay, 23 pounds, not too bad. Uh, dimensions 12 by 6.85 by 7.4 inches, so kind of your standard battery size. Uh, can handle a max continued discharge of 200 amps peak 500 amps and max continue charge 100 amps so that tells me it has a, a pretty robust uh, BMS in there and, and by the looks of it when I had it apart with the big heat sink and stuff it looked like a pretty good BMS. Uh, they're, they're saying greater than 4,000 cycles at 90% depth of discharge so should be a pretty long lasting uh, battery I guess due to those uh, grade A collab automotive cells that it uses. Uh, operating temperatures, this is interesting, it says it goes down to minus 20 Celsius, which is, I think, down around minus 4 Fahrenheit, so it can actually discharge quite in quite cold weather. Uh, charge temperature is pretty normal, zero, fair, fair, 0 degrees Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit, right at freezing, but all the way up to 55 Celsius, which is 
quite hot actually. Let's go down here. This is the, the kind of really interesting thing is this, this Bluetooth app. That's kind of a really cool feature to have. Although I did have a little bit of bugginess on, on the, when it hit a lower state of charge, you saw it, it kind of quit on me there. Uh, there's the disassembly. You can see how it's put together there with the, the cells kind of opposed. Uh, looks like they're laser welded on the terminals, which is which is a good way to go. And there's actually a, a photo of the, the underside of the, the battery management system. And it has the low temperature charging and discharging cutoff, high temperature charging, discharging cutoff. So it's got all the sensors and all the protections as well. And there's the collab cells. So overall, good, all good stuff. And they also, their, their website has quite a bit of a doc, documentation on the battery and everything like that. Um, also, right now, it's a pretty decent price at six twenty nine. That's their Black Friday deal up to 20% off and free shipping to the continental U.S. So anything bad to say about it? Well, I got a few things. Um, that app, like I said, got a little bit uh, buggy when uh, when I was uh, using it on the lower end uh, when the when the capacity got low. Now I'm thinking maybe that's a way they protect the the cells. Maybe the BMS once it gets to a, a, such a low voltage, it shows zero, so that the user goes, okay, I I need to uh, recharge my battery. I can't use it any longer. So kind of a way to to protect the cells that's that's what i'm thinking what was going on there um these lugs uh although i like them i could i have two ought lugs and they wouldn't fit in there the plastic here was too narrow to get my get my lugs in there so um that's one thing that i didn't quite like about that other than other than you i tried some one gauge and they went in there no problem but it's a little narrow for for larger ones, especially if you're going to be uh, paralleling them together, uh, that's another thing they say that they they can only uh, they can parallel four batteries, but they can only series together two of the batteries, and they don't recommend series parallel combinations. Uh, the warranty on them was a five-year warranty. Let's let me find the warranty here for you. Yes, here we go. Batteries over 500 watt hours, five-year limited warranty, um, and also it's non-transferable. So if you decide to, to to sell your batteries, the new owner doesn't have it that warranty. And the five-year warranty is a lot less than some of the other players have. Like say, for instance, Battleborn or Lion Energy have at least 10-year warranties, and in the case of Lion Energy, they have sort of a limited lifetime warranty. Also, the company AO Lithium is sort of a, a newer player. I had never heard of them before, and I don't see too much when I do a search online too much about them, so keep that in mind as well. Although, the, being quite serviceable, even if they went away, you could you could probably fix, get a, a battery fixed if need be. Anyway, that's, that's my review. And now on to uh, what I'm going to do with this battery. Like I say, I can't use it myself. So I'm going to do a little giveaway. Once I get down, probably next month, kind of a Christmas giveaway. I'm going to give away the battery. And I have a, a Bogart uh, charge controller that I don't need anymore. And I have a 180 watt solar panel that I recently reviewed that I have no use for. So I'm going to package that up into kind of a little system, a starter system, great little starter system for someone, especially if someone has a van or a camper, truck camper, something like that, or a small trailer, it would just be ideal. So I thought I'd package that up and I'll announce it sometime in December. The only caveat is I don't want to be shipping these all over the place to people. So if you're going to enter the contest, you're going to have to be somewhere in the southwest that you can meet me and pick them up in person, especially because shipping lithium batteries around is kind of a pain and the solar panel is so big. I'm sure it would cost a lot to ship all this. So anyway, keep, uh, keep that in mind and uh, look for a, a, a video coming up probably sometime in early December where I'll announce the giveaway and you can, you'll can you be able to enter into that. Till next time, Ray from loveyourrv.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers, folks.